Sorry about that guys, I apologize for the interruption. Here's what we were doing. I, I was just saying that the axis of symmetry divides the parabola right down the middle, right? Straight down the middle, which means the distance from the axis of symmetry to this x-intercept and the distance from the axis of symmetry to this x-intercept, these two distances have to be exactly the same, right? Because it's an axis of symmetry that divides the parabola right down the middle. So the distance from the axis of symmetry to this x-intercept and the distance from the axis of symmetry to this x-intercept have to be the same. So here's what the quadratic formula does. The quadratic formula finds the axis of symmetry. There it is right there. It will then add this distance to find your first x-intercept, which is why you have plus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. It turns out this distance right here is plus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So the quadratic formula finds the axis of symmetry and then adds this distance to find that x-intercept. Then the quadratic formula finds the axis of symmetry and subtracts that distance minus b squared minus 4ac square root all over 2a to find the other x-intercept. And so once again, what I'm doing here is I just wanted to show you why I like the quadratic formula written um, in this particular version or this version of the quadratic formula over the other one. And it's because this one much more accurately describes what it is the quadratic formula is doing. It is finding the axis of symmetry and then calculating the distance from the axis of symmetry to the x-intercepts, right? Take the axis of symmetry and add that distance. You get the first one over here. Take that axis of symmetry and subtract the distance, and you get your second x-intercept on the other side. That's the way the quadratic formula works. So what we're now going to do on the next page of the notes is begin to take a look at how the quadratic formula works um, when solving problems. And I'll say this as well. Um, quadratic formula, guys, is plug and chuck. Right? It's plug and chuck. Um, once you know A, B, and C, you're just going to plug them into the quadratic formula. Don't fat finger something on your calculator, all right? and it should work out perfectly. Um, the only issues kids really ever run into when it comes to quadratic formula is they just they aren't using their calculator correctly. So if for any reason you wind up having a question about how to use your calculator, if you're taking this class with me, just raise your hand and I'll come over and I'll help you figure out your calculator. And now, if you're not taking this class with me, um, Google it, right? Uh, there are tons of tutorial videos on how to use your calculator. Um, so just Google how to plug in and uh, there'll be lots of videos showing you how to properly plug and chug using a calculator with a quadratic formula. So head on over to the next page in the notes and I'll meet you guys there.